Hey guys, welcome to our first edition of Digest This, where we investigate all things science, nutrition, and wellness. I'm Nihal, and I'm the founder of Setu. Hi, I'm Abir, I head operations at Setu. And we have with us here our expert clinical nutritionist, Harshada. So it's not just Abir and I who don't know enough about the science. Hey everyone, today we are here to dive into a fascinating topic that just does not affect your outer health, but also your inner health which is liver skin access. So guys, today I want to have a conversation about what really works in the context of skincare, right? Um, I think we all know there's obviously a lot going on, uh, particularly in today's day and age, lots of brands being launched, serums, face creams, moisture. I, somebody was telling me the other day, it's like cleanser, toner, moisturizer is like the holy grail. Somebody else says that uh, the right diet is the holy grail. There's you know, all sorts of supplements out there, strips, gummies, so on and so forth, all sorts of brands out there. And then of course, there's this whole like recent set of fads, right? Uh, glutathione IVs, uh, there's obviously like Botox and all of this other stuff that's going on. We're here today to sort of really try to unravel or unpack all of this, right? Um, so I figured that one of the things that maybe we could spend a little bit more time talking about is this concept of uh, some of the things that we've been talking about recently, which is this liver skin access right. right maybe you can give us a little bit of the science perspective on it yeah so uh, basically uh, we do know that liver plays an important role in our overall health but what we uh, many people don't know about is that it also plays a crucial role in your skin's health right. yeah? but so basically we can call uh, liver like an uh, mvp of detoxification so you're saying like an internal cleanser of sorts yeah, it is like an internal cleanser. What it does is it helps to filter the blood uh, in the body. So it helps to remove, remove out toxins and uh, waste products from blood. So that is how it helps in the filtration process of blood. So what happens is when your uh, liver is functioning healthy, so it shows up on your skin. Okay, but then what happens? So here is the kicker again. So when your uh, liver is not functioning to its fullest, you know, when it is overloaded or overburdened, so that is where it starts showing up on your skin. Yeah, interestingly, I was, uh, when we were doing uh, some of the research about this, right, I read as high as 33% of people with some form of liver disorder yeah. have skin issues. Sure. It manifests on their skin in one or the other ways, right? So, right. And that's a high number, like 33% of people with liver issues, that's, that's a high yeah. number. Yeah. It's probably also no accident that when you're hungover, you've been drinking a lot, your skin looks kind of... Yeah, I, 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 a, a message for the masses, I'm telling you. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so next time you, you, you uh, do keep that in mind when you pick your fifth. Okay. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Think about the next morning, on, yeah. like on yeah. your skin. Also. Yeah. And tell us a little bit more about uh, the toxins, right? So, so, so what sorts of things is your liver dealing with that could be having an impact on your, on your skin? Is it just, um, is it just stuff that shows up in your food and alcohol or does it go beyond? There's both external factors as well as internal okay. factors that okay. are involved. So, so there are four pillars which we usually uh, go into nutrition when mm. we speak about nutrition. Mm. So it is lifestyle, mm. sleep, hydration and exercise. So if you take care of these four pillars, automatically your uh, skin health or you know liver detoxification uh, is at its fullest. So why don't you elaborate a bit about the nutrition part of it? Uh, yeah, so when you speak about uh, nutrition part, uh, there is there are certain superfoods that are involved in mm -hmm. liver's health or which okay. helps to detoxify the liver. Mm -hmm. So the superfoods could be like, um, uh, you know, omega-3 fatty acids, mm -hmm. pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. So there are green teas, you must have heard a lot about right. green teas or avocados, mm -hmm. walnuts, sure. nuts. Sure. So there are sure. these various superfoods that are involved in detoxification. Like, interestingly, glutathione is proven to be extremely powerful in this space sure. but uh, not something that uh, a lot of people are talking about or still know about it to sure. begin with. Okay. I yeah. think um, that's something that we have figured from a lot yes. of research that we have done. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Like I think understanding the connection between what glutathione does or it's me or rather perhaps first for the sake of the audience what exactly is glutathione. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that um, would be helpful. And then perhaps a little bit more about what it does and how, what sort of function it has in the body from a mechanism of action perspective and how that ultimately manifests in skin. We start with what yeah, is glutathione yeah, yeah. and we go from there. So glutathione is known like a powerful antioxidant. So its role is to detoxify the liver. 
and as we are speaking here about the role of liver in skin's health so mm. it automatically when it did uh, when the glutathione helps in detoxifying the liver mm. it automatically helps to improve the skin's health right mm. so uh, and i have seen the results myself mm. like i have been using glutathione for quite some time mm. so i have seen the results myself so mm. typically it helps with pigmentation mm. dark spots and mm. even skin tone and dull skin uh, also so how it works is uh, it helps to combat free radicals yeah and uh, and okay. just sorry to belabor the point but the free radical is what causes the pigmentation yes pigmentation early aging dull skin and your liver's inability to eliminate said free radicals is what manifests on, on your skin, your skin. on yeah. your skin so basically yeah. lutathione helps to enhance this ability of uh, liver yeah and i think this is backed by a lot of studies and clinical trials and research that we have gone right. through over the last few months or so yeah. where we have seen there are multiple ways of administration mm. there are multiple dosages mm. multiple um, data sets and samples of mm. people that have undergone these studies mm. but the results are clearly out there i mean you uh, have see results uh, on placebo versus administered what the differences are and probably you could also elaborate what placebo means to begin with for the audience. so there is a, a a study where you know there is a randomized uh, placebo control study mm. where it helps where it has shown and proven that glutathione helps to uh, fight you know this dark spots mm. and it is not just on your face you know mm. since you are going to consume this supplements it works all over the body this the specific study that you're talking about we're talking about oral glutathione yes which is an interesting aspect of this entire journey that we went through right so yeah. once we were uh, digging the research that mm. has gone into this we realized that there are multiple forms of administration the most studied one of course is the oral administration right and there are research that has been done with various dosages yes so that got us thinking as to what should be a safe yet effective dosages that dosage that we could go for because for us when we were creating setu skin yeah. renew right yeah. the topmost priority that we had in our minds was effectiveness yes. we wanted it to work yes. and we wanted it to work visibly so i just want to pause you for a second there when you say visibly so and work when we designed the product we had a time frame in mind absolutely right absolutely um, how like in your guys's estimation based on the research that we've seen how does the time frame of oral glutathione typically look because this is a pressing question that customers yeah, have yeah right? yeah yeah surely uh, that's one question right. i have and to add a second question we'll come back to it uh what are your thoughts on intravenous on instagram <coughs> i hear a lot of people tell me that they see a lot of skin renew yeah, ads yeah. i see a lot of intravenous glutathione ads right right, right. um and i'm intrigued Uh, I'm scared for sure and intimidated by the prospect of it but I want to understand a little bit about those two things so let's talk a little bit about uh time frame to outcome right uh and then let's talk a little bit about uh intravenous as well and your your guys is thoughts on that sure you want me to go first and I'll take your second question first please on the intravenous part of mm. it it is increasingly becoming popular mm. in small pockets mm. our best understanding of this is unless people are writing checks for your skin mm. you don't really need to go for it mm. if you are looking for uh, a skin that looks good mm. you feel better about yourself mm. i think oral administration is just great got it right coming to the time frame mm. i think it also nihal a function of what you are doing aside glutathione consumption mm. right mm. Uh, again coming back mm. to the point of yep. our fifth drink for example yes. right yeah. so um your uh, habits your lifestyle your diet everything put together your sleep your yeah. exercise yeah if those are being done and followed in a particular way mm. then i think 3 to 4 months you start seeing the results that mm. you were hoping for uh, that being said if somebody is uh, looking to uh, mm. change things radically over a week's time that's not going to happen got it right uh, so i should only have four drinks tonight is what you're trying to say uh, <laughs> uh, yeah uh, yeah yeah uh, okay we will cut it at four <laughs> yeah um yeah and you know the other question the other question i have for you harshada is the pro- the the word itself okay glutathione is intimidating to people um tell us a little bit about where where it's found in food right and uh, uh, obviously you told us a little bit about what it functionally functionally does but tell us a little bit about where it's found in food um so that people are able to establish a degree of comfort right that this is a whole food ingredient right. uh it's natural to consume it in your body um uh, because again i think 
a lot of times <coughs> perception when it comes to skin care is that something has to be outlandish to have an effect. Uh, it has to be snail shell or it has yeah, to be yeah, you know yeah, out yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, whereas the reality is perhaps a little bit different, right? So tell us a little bit about glutathione in yeah. food. So basically you can include uh, certain antioxidant rich uh, food along with glutathione rich foods which also helps to absorb glutathione. Mm -hmm. Typically if you include proper vitamin C with mm -hmm. it, that is where something, so and our formula, you know, yep. uh, Skin Renew does have a little amount of vitamin C added with an uh, intention to improve the absorption of uh, glutathione right. also. So typically what you can include is green leafy vegetables, cruciferous vegetables. Okay. So cruciferous vegetables are your cabbage, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, mm -hmm. uh, nuts specifically, almonds and walnuts mm -hmm. are something that really work wonders. You know, these are basic. So these are uh, good fats, you know, omega-3 fatty acids yeah. that you can include in the yeah. diet. Seeds, uh, specifically sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds. But help me understand which, which of those foods have Glutathione in them. Green leafy vegetables, okay. your cruciferous vegetables. Okay. So these are good sources of uh, glutathione in All them. The and interestingly, interestingly, Nihal, I think I get a sense of where you are coming from. Yeah. Uh, important to note, glutathione by its nature is endogenous. It okay. is produced in our body itself. Okay. Right? What we are doing is supplementing it. Understood. Because the body fun naturally uh, functions in a way to uh, combat a certain amount of uh, sure. radical uh, oxidation yeah uh, when it goes beyond that some sort of supplementation helps sure. so um, again people are apprehensive about sources etc right so we don't necessarily have to dig into an anaconda's ovary to find out mm. that to be, uh, you know to allay fears so to say yeah i like that way of yeah. yeah so harshada tell us a little bit about what are the ways that your liver function could manifest visually outside on your skin? Yeah, so it can show up as dermatitis, there are dark spots, uneven skin tone, uh, pigmentation. Understood. All of that stuff potentially at once or separately also. Right. And how, if you wanted to be in an optimal state from a liver function perspective and by virtue of that skin, what are the sort of things that you would suggest you one does? just to make sure you're sort of in the clear. So mainly it could be like exercise. So typically exercise helps to improve your blood circulation. Mm -hmm. It helps to uh, improve the efficiency of liver as well. Uh, hydration, so as we all know, you know, basically uh, enough hydration or drinking enough water helps to flush out toxins from the body. So that, that automatically helps to, uh, you know, uh, improve the skin glow, radiance. Mm -hmm. And uh, diet, sleep. Sleep is also one of okay. the most yeah. important pillar, you know, because Typically when you sleep uh, or at uh, night uh, or at night time is typically where your uh, liver function uh, peaks at optimum, you know, oh, it see. functions at optimum. Got it. So a uh, good quality sleep is also something that is very important. And of course, uh, nutrition and diet, you know, and as we said, including uh, glutathione rich foods or generally yeah, yeah. antioxidant rich foods, mm. uh, cruciferous vegetables, mm. nuts, seeds, so including all this. Um, Got it. Super foods are something important. <coughs> Got it. Understood. In fact, uh, how, how many boxes are you ticking, Nihal, out of these, huh? of all the things that you oh, mentioned? Oh, like, depends on the day. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I like the answer, yeah. <laughs> sometimes yeah, yeah, four, yeah. sometimes none. Ah, okay, okay. And you? Okay. Um, a, a day is a very crucial factor. Yeah. I think Monday to Thursday, I'm doing yeah, excellent. All of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, but coming back to all of the things that she mentioned, right? I think um, glutathione particularly, uh, we keep speaking to our customers, people yes. who have been consuming our Setu Skin Renew. Yeah. Uh, what makes me a really happy man in the kitchen is mm. when I hear 94% of people who have been using it regularly yes. have seen a glowing skin yeah. uh, over a period of 8 to 12 weeks. And uh, that's an offer substantial number of people also. Right? Yes, that's yes, that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's from a sizable audience. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. No, I think that for sure is is exciting for all of us. Yeah, right, absolutely. General, and that's yeah. part of the the part of the aspiration also with this this new content property right. is to is to get more people educated about yeah, the absolutely. benefits of uh, said ingredients, but also broadly the benefits of a certain kind of lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that we try to live five days out of seven. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's easy to to gloss by all of these things in the course of regular course of business. Uh, but I think to take a pause sure. uh, and sort of reflect and learn a little bit more about this from you from a science perspective but also from you from how the product is actually performing and how people are seeing it. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And you know, uh, because of my area of work over the years, 
uh, my friends would often ask me, you know, what should I do or what should I use? Yeah, Except for say this product. Go. Yeah. Till about three, four years back, I used to give them some answers because there was some sanity to the number of products that were available sure. out there. Yeah. Today, when it comes to topicals, yeah. you can't possibly keep track of what all people are launching, yeah. right? So oral skincare is something that people are increasingly finding about. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them from me, at least my friends. Yeah. Um, and I think this is definitely going to help them what yeah. we are trying to do. No, here. I think it's quite nascent, right, as a category. And I think this concept of uh, beauty beginning from within yeah, absolutely. and uh, nourishing multiple functions, right? Whether it's your liver, or it's your gut, uh, or it's maintaining your collagen levels literally in your skin, right. like in the epidermis. Each of those have a significant role to play, I think, in looking better and feeling better. And obviously, that's where we're trying yeah. to affect change yeah. as a brand, right? Yeah. So. Uh, I think going forward, we're going to have a lot more of these conversations. Yeah, look forward to them. Uh, I hope you guys are ready. Yes. Uh, and to everyone that's been listening or watching, thank you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in below. And uh, yeah, excited to come back next time. Yep. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.